What's up guys, it's Punchy, and today I've got a pretty special deep book and build for you all that I really enjoyed making. I've been looking at fan suggestions for characters to make, and that's where I got this one. I just knew I had to recreate this character when another deep book and content creator and huge One Piece fan Sly Kage recommended this to me on Twitter. Remember, I do look at your feedback, so comment down below who you want to see next. Before we start, check out my last video where I talk about the new and improved way to get tasks set and what that means for Deep Oaken. As always, make sure to like and subscribe because we're almost at 27,000 subscribers. Thank you and enjoy. Today's special character is the stylish and hot-headed cook of the Straw Hat Pirates, Sanji Vinsmo. If you don't know anything about One Piece, Sanji is well known for his fiery kicking style and pride as a cook because everybody knows your hands are meant for cooking, not fighting. His true passion is cooking and you can't dirty your hands if your goal is a chef. So, Sanji's attacks are fast kicks and flaming kicks and to be honest they're all pretty similar, but what you gotta know is that he throws a lot of hands. I mean, feet. But how would he work in Deep Woken? Sanji can be made a ton of different ways, but because of his blonde hair and crazy eyebrows, Kanor was the obvious choice for me. For his appearance, I decided to recreate Sanji based off his outfit in the Whole Cake arc. He's supposed to look all rich and elegant for his wedding, and I felt like this fit best. The brilliant cape and white vigil's cloak were perfect for the image I wanted to portray, and I think it looks great. For some, Sanji is pretty easy to describe, but he actually has a ton of attacks that I didn't use. Many of his skills fit in Deep Woken, and there are a few that I wasn't lucky enough to roll, so there's massive room for improvement. Comment down below how you'd make Sanji in Deep Woken. Our Sanji build is a fully maxed out hybrid build that's fairly balanced. I've got 25 strength, 25 fortitude, 40 agility, 5 intelligence, 25 charisma, 50 gale breath, 80 flame charm, and finally 75 in light weapon. Last time, I did a hybrid setup too, and I've got to say it's really fun. Sanji Vin Smoke is quick on his feet, and I mean really damn quick. Usually jumping around, kicking people's heads, and flying into the air, Sanji uses a fighting style called Black Leg, which is very unique. In Deep Oaken, Just Karita is most likely inspired off of this style, and it helps us a lot. The blazing fast speeds of Just Karita and its jumping critical make it an obvious choice for our character. Let's get into our abilities that make this character unique. Sanji spins around so fast that his feet catch fire in a form called Diablo Jambe. When Sanji's in this form, he's able to shoot these flames out and hit enemies far away. Basically, he's kicking so fast that the flames get to the opponent before his legs. The new mantra Tornado Kick is wonderful at recreating this because it's the only deep Vulcan kick mantra that shoots projectiles. It's amazing for guard breaks and comboing up close after a flourish. Often, Sanji fights large enemy groups and with his long legs, clearing them out is pretty easy. One of his most memorable moves is Table Kick, where he spins in a circle and hits whatever's around him. For this move, I chose Rising Flame for its huge radius and combo potential. He doesn't really use Diablo Jambe or Flames with this, but he definitely could. This move is super great for air combos and was also a true combo when Flourish Mantra stacking existed. Sanji slams down with enough force to kick around a damn dinosaur, so that's good enough for me. A ton of his moves do this, but one that stood out recently was Conquest Sir Crusher. I might be pronouncing this wrong, but anyway, for this one, I used a Reverse Spark on Flame Leap, which lets me kick down and sends enemies up. It's a creative use for this move, and it almost always hits. Something that amazed all One Piece fans was the discovery of Sanji's Raid Suit. This makes him crazy fast with insane new abilities, but his most damaging attack has to be the Aerial Soba Kick. I ended up picking Heavenly Wind for a giant leap that slams into the enemy, but I would have preferred to use Cast at Drop Kick. Of course, you can't pick anything in this game and RNG exists, but I think it worked out well. The next mantra I have reflects Sanji's passionate and gentlemanly personality. He gets very pressed when women are in danger, and it shows in his actions. Hell's Passion, or Flame of Denial, keeps me in the fight when I'm low and represents the flames of passion that Sanji likes to show. And Sanji's final attack that I chose would have to be Spectre. It's one of his fastest multi-hitting kicks that shreds nearby foes. I chose the mantra Rising Wind because it has the most amount of hits in the entire game and it was very good for air combos. Whenever we see Sanji jumping around, walking in the air, or even flying around, most of the time it's an ability called Skywalk. He's got so much power in his legs he can almost stay airborne entirely when he fights. I chose Dash with the Spring Spark to give myself two dashes and it worked out nice. Closing distances and dashing forward in the air gave me a ton of options and it made me very fast. That's all for Sanji's moves. There were a couple more things that helped me out recreate his character further. We all know that Sanji's fast and jumps a ton, so the Cloud Walker and Legion Shock Trooper trees worked out very well. Having a double jump and a gale dash was also very good because it showcased his speed and it showed off his skywalk ability. If you're making this build, you have to get these. Something else that's pretty new is Sanji's raid suit and his ability to go invisible. This was very easy to recreate with Ghost that makes me vanish on a dodge and gives me an edge in combat. And if I want to stay cloaked, Tasset is a secondary option for me. So being fast and stealthy is very important for Sanji and it's very easy to recreate in Deep Woken. If you want to make this build yourself, here's my full list of talents. Honestly, I love doing this build and it was very fun to make, so go check out some fights from our beloved Sanji Vinsmoke.
Thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. I have so many ideas for builds, but again, I'm only one guy, and sometimes I cannot get the items I need for a character. I'm listening, so don't worry, and thanks again. Have a good one.